Hey, what's up, AML family? We are here in the middle of the struggle, Kensington. This is where addiction takes you. I met a very nice lady while out here in Kensington. What's your name, dear? Beth. Nice to meet you, Beth. How old are you? 34. 34? Okay, Beth is young. Where are you from originally? Down here. PA, um, Kensington? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Born and raised? Yeah. How has that experience been? The neighborhood changed a lot. It was rough growing up, but it wasn't like this. <laughs> what was it like before? It was a rough neighborhood, but nothing went on out here like it does now. People didn't get high, and you don't see the stuff you see out here. It just didn't happen. When did it start getting like this? Like this? A few years ago. So back then, it was okay for like families and stuff to live out here and kids to be playing in the park and stuff? Yeah. We used to have the skating ring over there. Hmm. So let's, let's go down memory lane a little bit, all right, Beth? Tell us a little bit about your childhood growing up. Um, I really didn't have a childhood. I was the oldest, so I raised my brother and my sister. Oh, I'm so sorry. What, what happened to your mom and dad? My mom got high. My dad was always working to support us. That's tough. So let's talk about school. What was, what was it like in middle school and high school? Mm -hmm. I did good to high school. I got kicked out of two high schools for fighting, so then I went to a GD school. Were you like a popular girl or were you like a loner in school? Popular. <laughs> yeah. What, what was it? That made you get into fights. Girls in their mouths. <laughs> and you don't play that, right? It's all about respect, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have any favorite childhood memories? Mm, no. I hear you. I'm so sorry. See, guys, a lot of our brothers and sisters they don't have favorite childhood memories, and that's and that's that's you know that's sad. Give her a big hug for me when we've done this interview, okay? Yeah, both of y'all are awesome. So I'm so sorry. So now let's, let's move forward. What's the highest level of education you, you completed? Eighth, and then I got my GED. Awesome, congratulations, that's, that's amazing. So what do you do after getting your GED? I went to school for nursing assistance and cosmetology. Oh, awesome, you got some Good skill underneath, under your belt. What happened after that? Um, doctors prescribed Percocets, and then we stopped. So Oxycontin came in, and they became too expensive, and they came with it. Why were you getting prescribed? I had a bad back. A, a bad back? Mm -hmm. You had any type of accident? Yeah, I was in a roller coaster accident. A, a what? A roller coaster accident. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Damn. Well, I'm glad you're alive. Do you sue? Why not? You should have get some money. They broke, they hurt your back. Now look, due to that, that led you down this road. So, you know, somebody got to be responsible. Well, I'm so sorry. So let's, um, let's talk about currently out here in Kensington now. What drugs are you battling? Okay. Do you do speedball? No, I don't smoke that. All right. Also, speedball is crack? No, speedball uh, is the fentanyl and coke. Right, mixed, yeah. right? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. So, how long, so how were you introduced to fentanyl? They switched, it. you used to dope and then they turned it on fentanyl. And you started using the dope due to the fact it was too expensive to, you wasn't getting prescribed it anymore and that's what led you down to the streets, right? Yep. Yeah, that's, you hear that a lot with a lot of people. Now, do you snort or do you shoot? Shoot. All right. How do it make you feel? Not anymore. It's not, it's not getting hot. It's just getting wet. Yeah, I hear that a lot. So what about cocaine? Mm. Are there any... Well, what are the pros and the cons? Cocaine keeps you up. Cocaine keep you up? Yeah. It's an upper, right? Yeah. What about fentanyl? It, you're not. But oh. I do, like I said, the pills keep me up. So oh, okay. 
Have you OD? Uh, once or twice, I guess. Are you afraid of dying? Yeah. Yeah, right. Definitely, it's not the way to go. So, out here now, you got those two habits, which is very expensive, and uh, you need it like almost every hour of fentanyl. How often do you use your fentanyl? It's like every few hours. And what would happen when you don't use it? I get sick. Throwing up, puking. So in a situation when you get like that, what do you do? I try not to get like that. Right. So when you see people out there in the streets and they're like on a, laying on the floor, like throwing up and stuff, is that what that is? They're sick? Yeah. Yeah, that's not, it's, it's very hard watching people go through through that. It's very sad. Yeah, so so now, what would you say you, you spend every day to support your habit? It's not easy. Two, three hundred dollars a day. Yeah, that's a lot of money, right? Do you have a job? Mm -hmm. How do you hustle? Yeah, All right, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know it's very dangerous out here, that lifestyle. What's the worst thing that you have seen all oh, that has happened to you since you've been out here? A lot of things have happened. A lot of traumatic experience, right? Being out here in Kensington. Did that person get caught for doing that to you? No, because most of the time we have warrants you hear that and there was a guy that was arrested recently he drives a Dodge Charger no, and he no, there's another guy out there now, he what type of car he drive Dodge Charger. Dodge Charger so it's two Dodge Chargers one is in jail right now and they're hoping for more women to come forward and you know to to speak up but like you said warrants People got warrants and they don't want to turn themselves in because they think they're going to get locked up, right? Yeah. See, that's the case and a lot of these guys get away with stuff. It's not good. Alright, so hopefully that guy get caught. So how do you protect yourself out here? Alright, gotcha, gotcha. Definitely got to stay safe and in, in it, by any means necessary. So what's 24 hours in Kensington look like for you? A day in your life. Do what I gotta do. Keep myself well. Just a routine throughout the day. A cycle, right? Yeah. Is it a good cycle or a bad cycle? It's a bad cycle. What's the longest claim time you have? Um, a year and a half. That's amazing. If you can do a year and a half, you can definitely do it again. What triggered you into relapsing? I lost my grandfather. Oh, death is a huge trigger for a lot of people. Yeah. Death is no joke. You lost, I'm so sorry that happened to you. And now, are you think, do you think that you'll try to fight again for your, to get yourself back? Yeah. That's great. Never lose hope, that's why I tell anybody. Never, just don't never give up. That's all I could tell you. Where's your son now? He's with my mom. Oh, that's good, you stay in contact? That's great, that's great. And I'm sure you a parent, you are afraid at, you know, of this road that you're on, that your child don't come down this road, right? What advice would you give to, to teens and, and young adults who are thinking about coming down this road you're on? It's not something you want to do, I don't, I don't ever tell anybody to do this. <laughs> all right. And if you can go back all over, will you do this again? No. Absolutely not, right? And you hear it for your, you hear it from them guys. They keeping it 100 with you. There are some people that say, "Oh, you made a choice. You want to be out here." What do you got to say about that? No, I didn't make a choice. I really don't want to be out here. Something I had to do. Right, and I tell them not to judge people because you're not. They're not in your shoes. So how do you? So you have a place to stay, right? Yes. Okay, that's good. That's good. So, let's get off topic to get to know you as an individual and we're done, okay? What's your favorite color? Purple. Purple, shout out to all the royalties out there. What's your zodiac sign? Gemini. Yo, shout out to the Gemini. I forgot to ask him what was your sign? Cancer. Cancer, okay, all right. I forgot to ask him, they're, they're a couple, so he, he's a Cancer and she's a Gemini. Shout out to the Gemini gang. 
What are some things you love most about yourself? Um, I'm a good person. I'm All right. Trying oh, that's awesome. That's great. We need more people like you in this world. If you had to pick daytime or nighttime, which one are you? Nighttime. Why? Well, right now, I'm too so damn hot. <laughs> Got you. What's your favorite season of the year? Spring, fall. Why? The weather. Okay. So when they get hot like this, on a day like this, what do you usually do? How do you keep cool? I try and stay in. Okay. They also got libraries that got cooling centers too. So if you're around a library and you're hot, you can go into a library to cool off. All right. What, when you're all, when, when you are alone by yourself, what are some things that go through your mind? Oh, that's awesome, that's awesome. What's your, what are some of your favorite foods? Okay, look, two Italians together, house full of pastas. All right, cool, all right. So, what's your favorite holiday season? Christmas. Why? Um, she's always one of my favorite holidays since I was little. Okay, yeah. All right, that's what's up. And if you had to pick to fly or to be invisible, which one would you pick? Fly. Shout out to the bird gang. Yeah, why? Then I just go and yeah, she, yeah, she's all about her freedom. When you was a little kid, what do you want to become when you grow up? Hairdresser. Oh, nice. All right. Okay. You can see her hair look nice, so she definitely do a good job. And this one would be, you are currently in a relationship. What do you look for in a partner? I'm sorry. All right. Right. So, how is it like being in a relationship with somebody else who also on drugs? What are the pros and the cons? It's hard. Um, um, okay. All right. We'll skip that. We'll skip that. So, this one would be if you have if your friends and your family see this video, what message would you like to send to them? She love you guys. Don't give up on her, and she's not gonna give up on herself. And this one would be, if you had three wishes, what would your three wishes be? Stay clean, stay clean, and get up out of Kensington. Awesome. And do you have a spiritual or religious belief? Uh, I believe in something. Where do you believe you'll go when you die? Heaven. Amen. Pray you go to heaven. So this, this last one to take us home would be. Okay, I'm sorry, this one first. What are your short-term goals now? To get clean. Okay, all right. And this last one would be, there are a lot of people in this world who judge people who are struggling with addiction. What's your message for the world? And judge somebody you know what they've been Amen. Guys, you heard that from, for her, from her, the lady herself. Don't judge nobody because you don't know what they've been through. And that's absolutely the truth. So guys, remember, it's time for us to roll out. Is there anything that you're in need of we can help you with, dear? No. Okay, well, I got some mace for you. Are you interested in mace? Yeah, I got Hold one. Hold on to oh you, oh, you got your mace? Okay, God bless <laughs> Marianne for sending the mace for our brothers and sisters. We appreciate that. So, AML family, we about to roll out. I want to tell a lovely lady, thank you so much for, you know, giving us a tour, a walk into her life that's very hard because of the judgment. But we're trying to break that, let people know, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. Speak up because it will help save somebody else's life. So guys, remember, don't be bitter, be better. Until next time, we out there. Peace out.